Capricorn, I would suggest that you start uh, getting ready for this uh, here X to pop up. Uh, this doesn't look like uh, it might not go so well for some of you guys. It, it possibly will. For the ones of you that, uh, you know, want this person back here, then this right here is going to be a serious uh, opportunity, okay? Because we got somebody here that's thinking about somebody. Very, very much so, okay? They're, they, they're, they're in all type of anxiety, you guys. Um, they really just don't know what to do, okay? They're crying, okay, you guys? I love you too, baby. They're crying. They, they, they want this here family. Um, you know, they're in regret, guilt, you know, sadness, remorse. You know what I'm saying? They focused on the loss, y'all. And they got so much truth that they want to express. They feel like there could be a pregnancy here as well. Um, or just children involved. Okay. Listen, they, they feel like they want to express their truth. And because they're guilty, okay? You guys I feel like karma has come for their ass and, and it's just they're guilty, okay? It's just that simple, all right? Um, they know they done sabotaged this and they're coming, you guys unfaithful individual the one that had you in the love triangle you know whatever x is in question okay it's about to be popping up okay and this is going to be a surprise visit too by the way i want you guys to know that um and it or just a surprise phone call or for some of you guys this person already been trying to reach out to you okay but what i have is in person all right so you know we talking about pulling up and let there be no mistake about this you guys they definitely do want a love affair it really just is that simple okay um not saying that you know they don't want to hook up um not saying they don't want to link up for some of you the truth may be that this is your ex and you had a serious relationship with and they're going to be coming back and wanting a serious love affair for some of you this is somebody who you met and you you know liked or whatnot and you know maybe possibly they ghosted they're going to be coming back okay they're going to be wanting to link up all right um whatever the case is you, how deep or whatever this goes you guys bottom line is is they coming all right that that's that's and they're trying to bring a love offer all right for some of you guys you're gonna be getting some roses here um the color red sticks out for some of you guys you guys are going to be receiving a gift i got a ribbon on the uh present here so you know yeah they they do they want they want back in the door okay they they want um happiness again um they want um, a relationship they be crying y'all you know they they have they all, you know, for some of you, they've been in jail. For some of somebody may possibly be in jail, okay? But they still have to make decisions. The decisions has caused them to um, to really get enough courage to jump out here and be like, you know what? This is the person I want. This is the person I want to deal with. And um, I'm about to make this decision to uh, make it happen. And you need to understand that this here pulling up on somebody here, okay? Because it's in-person situation. Um, and this, you know wanting missing loving and carrying on they are very aggressive okay you need to understand this okay they are fast moving energy they're impulsive you guys they are seizing moments okay so do not be surprised it's two o'clock in the morning and your phone start blowing up all right from somebody who you know was in your past at one particular time possibly okay um in whatever capacity that is all right you guys but this is what we're dealing with um somebody definitely does have self-worth here um, they've learned a lot of lessons. This is going to be for some of you guys. The truth will be that they have learned a lot of lessons and, um, they, somebody has really went on with their life for real, for real. Okay. Like they're not playing when it comes down to this, but even in that case, and if that's you that, uh, you know, has the self-worth and, you know, has learned lessons and has went on with your life and stuff like that, this still energy still is not, um, you know, it is, it's, it's, you still you include it. Okay. You, you about to be. Uh, reached out here from this person now you may not have heard from this person in quite some time okay that is a possibility but nonetheless this is popping up okay and they do want to talk about this here love all right so this is what i got capricorn this is what we're gonna deal with day ones much love much respect my vips thank you so much for your support train to go shout out y'all we are definitely clicked up you guys join train to go I am working on my store right now, you guys, a lot of merchandise, you guys, that I have. And also, you guys, thank you so much um, for the uh, purchases of the tarot cards, you guys. I really appreciate it. Love you guys. Join Train to Go if you want to get your hands on there. Join Train to Go, period, if you're on a spiritual ascension or whatnot. 
um for the ones that are new and recent to the channel you guys thank you so much for accepting my invitation to the channel you guys i am very happy that you're here if you have not let me know please go in the comment section below let me know that you're new that way i can give you a warm welcome that you deserve okay capricorn so you guys i've already prayed over these clarifiers in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit I've asked for truth, revelation, confirmation, guidance, consolation, peace, and protection. As I give Jesus Christ all the praise, the honor, and the glory. Yeshua, Messiah, all the praise, the honor, and the glory. Okay? So, yes, we have a situation with X. They're very action-oriented, you guys. They might have possibly level, leveled up. They possibly are in some type of business to where, you know, um, maybe they're a leader in, in some type of way. Or, you know, hey, they could be fearless and be and being a finesser as well. Okay. So this is a friendly individual. Puzzle pieces, you guys. Um, my goal is to put a one piece. What is he doing, Holy Spirit? Together for you. All right. I'm gonna do my damnedest. I don't know who your ex is, okay? But I'm gonna do my damnedest to help you uh figure out who this person is, all right? Some of you yeah, don't already reached out. This person could possibly be in the spotlight. Possibly awards, winning, recognition, somebody who you damn sure did have a family with or somebody who proposal. A lot of money is here, Capricorn. So this person possibly, um, you know, awards, victory, fame, praise, money, maybe inheritance, unexpected wealth, legacy, something to do with that. Okay. Family. Okay. Ties may be wealthy. All right. So they're going to be popping up. Okay. Is what I'm trying to say. Tell me about the pop-up, Holy Spirit, please. They're out of path in a road. They're thinking about it. They're thinking about the stability with you. They're thinking about um, maybe money opportunities. Maybe you guys working together. Possibly, you know, you guys have made money in the past together. Some type of how. They may have an idea that they want to bring you on board with. But stability nonetheless. Okay, for some of you, that will be true. Um, Yeah. This definitely, yeah, they definitely want to bring some love. They really feeling they right now. They really are seriously. Y'all, they feeling this. They're scared of fighting. They're scared of the fights. Or the fights have already taken place. Okay? Some type of intimidation, winning at all costs, conflicts, deception, defeat, hostility. One or the other. Alright. So. Their uh, mission is, is to get back in the door, okay? Their mission is to give you some type of an offer. So you need to understand that somebody here is mind over matter, okay? Puzzle pieces, you guys. Anytime you get a door read from me, it is always puzzle pieces. Somebody's mind over matter, mind over heart. This person could be at a distance, you guys. This person could be in type of some type of rehab, facility, probation, parole. You know what I'm saying? A-A-N-A, -A -A, you know, something like that, okay? But at a distance, online, okay? Travel has to be required. Maybe this is what they do. Maybe travel is what they do. Or they possibly may work at a government facility as well. Um, but, yes, we have had a lot of lying, stealing, killing, cheating, thieving, fake, and phoniness going on here in this here relationship or situationship. The person has definitely manipulated, or you have, and lied, sneaky, you know, something, okay? Yes, be ready for the phone call. Okay, the communication is on its way, all right? And um, they're overwhelmed right now because a lot of thoughts of you are plaguing them. I think they done fucked up in a major way. Capricorn is really eating them alive, okay? That's what it feels like. Or Crosswatcher, Crosswatcher Energy. What is she doing, please? Uh, Crosswatcher Energy Candy will get involved in this. Crosswatcher, I want you guys to know that I love Crosswatcher just like I love Capricorn. If this is Capricorn that's done this to you. Please go in the comment section below. Let me know because I am very interested to know how energy interchanges. And you will be helping me out an awful lot. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Appreciate it. So listen, y'all. Okay. Somebody. This is somebody who somebody had to cuss out before too. Okay. Or somebody has cussed you out. One or the other. Okay. But nonetheless, this person is worrying. You guys, they cannot sleep. They didn't did the most is what done happened. And, you know, they may be at a distance or they may have ghosted. They may have left. However, they got on. OK, rather, this is a deep ass relationship or rather this is somebody who just met somebody not too long ago. And you guys had some type of chemistry. OK, bottom line is they didn't, they met they messed up. OK, third party situation. Drugs is here. Um, you know, addictions is here. Street life is here. Um, multiple people that they deal with is here. So I don't know. Okay. Where, what exactly they did. Okay. Uh, also domestic violence also is here as well. You guys. Okay. Um, but what I'm saying is, is that regardless to what they did, all right, they want to come back. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. 
Because they're full of worrying, all right? They can't sleep at night and shit, all right? They have mental anguish. They, I don't know. It feels like they're disappointed in themselves. They want a new beginning, okay? With the ace of wands, okay? They want a new start and also sex. Somebody has went on, all right? Somebody knows they're like, you know what? I don't, I don't deserve this bullshit, okay? Somebody's showing up crazy, sexy, cool. They're like, oh, shit, I'm, I'm, I'm doing me, okay? For real. That's how somebody is right here. What is she doing, Holy Spirit? When this person come back. Talking about third party situations. Somebody is pissed off about this third party situation. It's the reason for some of you guys, truth is, the reason why this shit ended in the first place. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth party. If it wasn't that, the thing that they put over somebody. Separation. The heartbreak. The disappointment. The letdown. The switching up. The not being, you know, who somebody thought somebody was. Nonetheless, sadness and sorrow. But yeah, somebody gonna have to make a decision when this person comes. You need to understand this person's full of them anxiety. They, they have fear around them too. They might be locked up, y'all. I'm dead ass, okay? They might be, all right, with the six of swords, the eight of swords, they might be getting out, okay, you guys? So that is a real possibility uh, for some of you guys, all right? Um, but nonetheless, somebody is damn sure uh, scared here. They're still toxic. What, what is this? What is they toxic of? What's their problem, Holy Spirit? What's their problem? Legal is their problem. Getting in trouble with the law, okay? Manipulative is their problem. They cutthroatness is their problem. They walking away without an excuse is their problem, which is ghosting. And being unbalanced is their problem, all right? They're off center, y'all, okay? They don't know what the hell they want. Listen, they want to be emotionally mature. They do, okay? But at the same time, you want to be a, a hot dog, okay? And just because you want to be a hot dog, that don't necessarily mean that's what you is, okay? Bottom line is they're emotionally imbalanced. They, they can't help it, okay? Because I don't know. Maybe they can, you know what I'm saying? They go get some proper help. Another thing, too, is with this car coming that upside down, you know, this person may possibly have a mental problem as well, you guys. Right, and see, they like to keep secrets and shit. That's what their problem is. And for some of you guys, you know, for some of you guys, this person comes across very uh, spiritual. Uh, they come across, you know, religious. For some of you guys, it be somebody in a religious organization um, that uh, has kept a lot of secrets, deception, misconception, in unsecure, insecurity, illusions and delusions, deception, conflict, third party situations, possibly. OK, because all they did was backstabbed. Ten of swords, y'all. Backstabbed, betrayed somebody, left somebody for dead. Some of y'all got jumped on. Okay, dude, female, you know, both jump on each. I don't go down violence on this channel, y'all. I got to say that. They crying, y'all, okay? You, them, somebody, but feel like them. Seriously, they, they really are, okay? Even though they the one that uh, backstabbed you, ain't that a bitch. They crying, but... They backstabbed you, okay? So, I don't know. I'm just reading cards, okay? Um, but nonetheless, they also cry because their asses is in trouble, too. That's another thing, okay? Um, it could be a situation they're getting out and they need somewhere to go. It could be a situation to where they thought they was getting out and they're not getting out. Or they might have to be extradited somewhere else um, because they, you know, didn't realize there was another case. You guys, it's just a whole lot here. A court, okay? A legal a karma, all right? But they're crying, all right? They're crying because they done fucked up this here family, for one, some of, for some of you guys, this home for some of you guys, and this here commitment for some of you guys, okay? Or situationship, because they shouldn't have sat up here and sold somebody a dream, because that's exactly what they did. So, yes, we got crime. Somebody feels an injustice behind this. Told you it's jail, y'all. I'm telling y'all, y'all think I'm bullshitting, but somebody in jail. Somebody locked up. So, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. And they, I truly believe for the ones that is uh, locked up, maybe they sat down long enough to think about what happened. Or, you know, sometimes, you know, they when somebody locked up, also it's like, you know what, I hopefully I didn't burn that bridge because I'm going to need their ass when I get out type shit. You know, something to that degree. Okay, y'all. Or, you know, it could be mental shit. Nonetheless, they about to start up a spark with you. I can tell you that much. 
They about to start flirting and carrying on. You know that thing that you fell in love with them, that thing that caught you in the first place? They about to start pulling that out there, the little the little bag of tricks that they got, okay? Um, you know, all that smiling and, you know, giving you compliments and batting the eyes and, you know, all that shit that's fixing to come on out, okay? So it's going to be irresistible is what I'm trying to tell you. So the only way it's not going to work, for real, the only way I see it's not going to work is this card right here. So for the ones of you who know your self-worth and the ones of you who have said, um, I'm not the one for a third party relationship and all this here deception and deceitful and all this evil, toxic ass, uh, deceptive, abusive ass, gaslighting, narcissistic energy. I'm not with this shit. OK, <coughs> excuse me, y'all. But, you know. For others of you, and I'm not saying that you got to have self-worth not to, you know what I'm saying? But you do have to have some self-worth in order to realize that um, it's certain shit you just ain't willing to take, okay? I mean, really doesn't really matter who the person is, okay, is what I'm trying to say. That's what trying to go is about, y'all, okay? Um, and it is pouring into oneself. This is the reason why I always say, you know, becoming one's version of one's own self in one's own lane. That requires self-love. It requires self-value. It requires self-worth. And if you're used to being in this type of gas situation, you have nine times out of 10 put yourself to the side for the longest for some of you guys. OK, so it's either that you've gotten to this point here. All right. To where it's just like, you know what? I already know what you bring. Right. OK. Um, and I don't, you know, I, I, I ain't hurt. Okay. It's just that simple. Okay. Um, or this is going to be another lesson that's going to push you more towards, you see what I'm saying? After they finish playing these fucking games. Okay. Um, that's going to push you more towards, you know, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not hurt. Okay. Like you, you will get that, but they do want to. Okay. I do feel like, you know, maybe they have thought about it. You see what I'm saying? But honestly, it's still a third party situation right here. Okay. So the truth is going to come out about this third party situation. You know, y'all, some of y'all, somebody pregnant. All right. I'm just going to tell you. All right. Or somebody had a baby. It done got the, it done, yeah, see, I told you. It gossip and shit surrounding this situation as well. So for y'all, for those of you who have that like long term, and it, it may even be short term, I mean, you know, people be on in that shit. Let me tell you something. Okay. Y'all, they gossiping about shit. Okay. About your person, about, you know, your relationship, your love and all this other type of stuff. For some of you, that will be true. Okay. This third party situation is talking about it. Okay. Because rather you're the third party, then if you're the third party, then the other person, the main person is talking about that. Or you could be talking about the shit. I don't know. Puzzle pieces, y'all. Okay. Anytime you get a general read from me, it's always puzzle pieces. Somebody talking. Okay. Somebody messy ass family talking too. I just want you to know that. Just saying it is. Yeah, because somebody done walked away. They done got missing in action. Okay, y'all, shit. Or they went to jail. What? They might have went to jail behind you. Because it is domestic violence. Okay, here. There you go. Unless you're dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Holy Spirit. They did leave, though. They thought that the grass was greener on the other side. Possibly married. What is she doing? See, some of y'all, y'all going to be willing to take this here leap. Some of y'all, y'all is. Y'all going to take this leap here. They're going to show possessiveness. For some of you, you have a fear of loss of this person. For some of you, you're, you're used to being controlled by this person for a long time, as a matter of fact. Somebody does feel guilty. Okay, they do. They, but you know, this is not a sword, y'all. And let me tell you something. You could have a, you know what I'm saying, a drink and feel guilty. You see what I'm saying? He's show, still showing up as Page Wands, still showing up as roguish and, and extroverted, okay? I mean, you know, they making snap decisions. It's like, you know, you know how, like, maybe you, you know, I know I ate my husband's cookies the other night, y'all, and I kind of feel guilty because I'm on diet. So when I laid down, I kind of was like, damn, I shouldn't have ate them fucking cookies. So, okay, so it's like that. You know, they could be laying down, all right? And they could be like, damn, I shouldn't have did that. Or, you know, I shouldn't have said that. Or whatever, but that shit was snap. You see what I'm saying? This is not a source energy, okay? You guys, fast moving, impatient, seizing the moment, impulsive, aggressive. For some of you guys, person is going to be real. They're going to be coming to you real, 
um, for some of you guys, okay? But listen, not a wands, page wands, you know, somebody don't want this person no more, okay? Either they don't want you or you don't want them. This is a whole bunch of in and out. This is a whole bunch of mixed messages. This is a whole bunch of inconsistency, you guys. This is a person to move at swift speed. They don't think before they do shit. As a matter of fact, I know this to be true because I got the Knight of Swords and I got the the um, the, um, the the Knight of Swords and the... Hold on. The Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands, okay? That's how I know, all right? Because they move it, they're, they're going in too fast energy. Not a source is not any energy that you sat here and thought about it, okay? This is, I want it now. This instant gratification is microwavable. You see what I'm saying? It's not like, okay, I've spent time, okay? I know what I did wrong and I don't want to do this shit no more. It's not that, okay? This is still roguishness. And this is the reason why death is here. Because they come back for the ones that you just going to let them come back. They come back doing the same shit. The only thing that's going to happen is you're going to do the same shit again, too. Somebody to met somebody. Somebody is going to meet somebody. That's a bright note, okay? But it doesn't matter because somebody is still wounded, set back, guarded. Somebody has trust issues here. So the person that somebody might possibly meet, you know, I don't know how well this is going to go, you guys. I see your money looking very well. But I don't know how this is going to go because somebody has some serious ass trust issues. Somebody has been hurt and somebody has been through a awful, awful lot. OK, um, of some type of abuse. All right. Domestic violence, um, you know, uh, mental abuse, emotional abuse. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I see where your money is looking good. OK, you guys just be prepared for this person to come back and understand you know, everything is a lesson. That's all I can tell you. I'm going to give you guys some letters. I mean, some letters and some time frames, okay? This may possibly help you, okay? In finding out who this person is if you don't know who this person is by now. Hold on, let me get a couple more here. This is for my Train to Go members. This is a perk. You guys, join Train to Go. I did put on the community page link today. Um... Hold on, wait, we're okay. Try to get my letters, y'all. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so joint training goes a lot of support there, you guys. Like I said, it is about being one's best version of one's own self and one's own lane. It really just is. And not paying attention to anybody else's damn lane. You know, you know. So you got a lot of bright, smart, lovely people from all different type of walks of life in different places, too. Um, that uh are, are is, is is part of train to go, you guys. Prominent people, important people, gifted people, you know, and we definitely are clicked up. Okay. Um, let me get some more of these letters, y'all. So for every 100 new subscribers, somebody will get a free read. Um, my mystery guys are very fun. They're very random. And also uh, my monthly winners. Congratulations to my May winner. Um... If you guys are interested in a read, go in the description box, scroll all the way down. You guys will see the prices. You guys will see the details of my plans. And you guys will also see uh, my email. Please do not hesitate to contact me. You guys, um, I did sell out of the tarot cards. However, I will be putting in an order because um, I like them to be on hand um, Monday. So it should take maybe less than a week for them to... Um, for them to... Um, Print them off and get them off to me, okay? But thank you so much, you guys. I really appreciate your support. And I really appreciate, um, you know, everybody who, you know, helped me along the way. Um, you guys, I did make another um, another article on my blog. Um, and it is about brokenness. Go check it out. It is a quick read, you guys. Um, and as you guys know, my website is completely free. doesn't cost you anything to go there. Um, and it never will, you guys. Um, let's see here. So that website is hrhnikitarot.com, hrhnikitarot.com. I will be having a store open soon. You'll be able to get merch of all kind of or all kind of sorts, okay? Um, even the images of some of my cards. Um, so be on the lookout for that. I will be doing the announcement. If you guys are on a spiritual journey, please check my book out. Um, it is called Train to Ascend. 
uh, by me, HRH, Nikki, Nicole T. Phoenix, P H E O N I X. Okay. So, um, it is available on Kindle. Okay, you guys. So, let me go ahead and give you guys some time frames here. We got Thanksgiving. Okay. That may be res uh, relevant. Um, Christmas is here. Summer is here. March is here. December is here. New Year's is here. January. That makes sense. October. And heavy air elements somewhere in the chart, either yours or theirs. OK, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, somewhere in natal chart. All right. Um, October, January, New Year's, December, March, summer, Christmas, Thanksgiving, heavy air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And I also have what is this? A top of deck. Oh, that's a that ain't even supposed to be here. July. OK, July. All right. So. We have two letter S's, two letter F's. We got the letter E, P, X, U, R, J, Z, M, K, two K's y'all, and C. All right, so we got C, two K's, M, Z, J, R, U, X, P, E, two F's and two S's in O over there. Okay. So I'm going to tell you guys who's heavy first. Scorpio is heavy. Libra is heavy. Gemini is heavy. Taurus is heavy. Pisces is heavy. Capricorn heavy. Somebody could have possibly been married here. Be on the lookout for a phone call. I don't know if they still a liar, still a killer, cheater, thief, fake, phony. For some of you, they will be. For others of you, they've changed. I don't know if they're still abusive. For some of you, they will be. For some of you, they've changed. Okay. Taurus. Sagittarius. Yeah, they done ghosted. They done left. Somebody done traveled, relocated. Travel may be possibly what they do. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Heavy Leo. Heavy Gemini. All right, you guys, so this is what I have. Hopefully, I was able to put one piece together for you. If I was, that means I definitely done my job. Remember, cross, inter cross watch your energy can and will get involved in this. Um, and, um, and I will see you guys next time. I love you guys, and 